Good evening, everybody. We appreciate you coming out tonight to talk about the Putnam County Acceleration Options that we are offering for next year. Uh, I'd like to welcome all of our principals and all of you here. Um, Dr. Cerency is here to speak to you briefly. He's going to take a few minutes to talk to you, but he also has to head right out to the other assembly that is happening on the other side of the district. Dr. Cerency. Thank you, Ms. France. It's a pleasure to be back home. I, I spent a little time here over the last 10 years, and it's just like home, so I feel very comfortable back here in our cafeteria. Uh, thank you for coming out. It's really uh, a joy to see so many parents that are interested in their child's education, and that's what we're all about here. And we're trying some new things this year, and I really appreciate you coming out and finding out about our new initiatives. And I'm going to speak more about that in just a minute. I want to introduce uh, people uh, on our panel and in the audience, some school personnel that I want you to put a name with a face because you may want to talk to them tonight about you know, some of the things that are being presented. Uh, first of all, Laura, if you hold your applause, Laura France, our Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum Instruction, who you just met. Uh, Dr. Melissa Coleman, who's Director of Acceleration, and she's helped put together a lot of the information that you have, and recruiting, by the way. She helps recruit our instructional staff. Uh, Beth Leary is Assistant Principal here at Jenkins Middle School. Uh, Janet Wilhite is uh, in your current position at Cambridge Coordinator, Cambridge Coordinator at QI. Thank you. Um, Sandy Hurst out in the audience is Guidance Counselor at, um, right here at Jenkins. Marlene Ogle, guidance counselor at Palatka High School. At J.T. Stout, uh, principal at Palatka High School. Mike Tucker, principal at CL Overturf. And did I miss anybody? Helen Muir, sorry. She's our uh, elementary director and central area director. And did I miss anybody? Any other school personnel? Mike Chairs and Andy Burney. Mandy Burney and Mike Chairs. And Mike Chairs. Okay, thank you. And who else? Amber Simons, thank you, thank you, from the high school. Thank you very much for coming out. I'm getting old and I forget names and all that, so bear with me. I do want to talk about uh, what our initiative is as a district this year and hopefully for subsequent years. Uh, as I was running for this office, I talked to a lot of people and I listened to a lot of people. And um, we have a lot of great things going on in the Putnam, Putnam County District Schools. But one thing I saw is we had a great Cambridge program that had been in existence for two or three years uh, at just two or three schools. And what I felt was a big issue was we did not all have access to that. They were, because of geography and other factors, uh, only certain students were able to take advantage of those great opportunities. And uh, this year, I think it was the first year at, as far as uh, a senior class at Cambridge. So, you know, that's a great opportunity. We want more students to have that opportunity as well. However, there are other acceleration programs besides Cambridge that we want to make available um, right here in Palatka and in South Putnam. And as you know, we held the same program in South Putnam a week or so ago. And um, I'm very proud to announce that we are offering Cambridge at the middle school and the high school in Crescent City because those people who live in that area should have equal access as well, but they have about 40 miles to drive from where they live to QI. So to me, that was a, a huge inequity that we needed to do something about. So I want to credit our staff. We, we are now putting together the first cohort of freshmen at Crescent City High School who will start the Cambridge program. And uh, those other students who are currently going to QI will continue to do so. But as each year goes by, will continue to build Cambridge more in the South Putnam area. But here in the central and the west areas tonight, we're gonna to talk about some unique opportunities that you have or your students have to be a part of our acceleration program. Cambridge is only one part of that. And as you'll hear about our new collegiate high school that we're starting at Black High School, um, is also gonna give you a, just a great choice if you decide not to go to QI Roberts there is a valuable or viable alternative right here in Palatka. So with that said, I'm gonna turn it over to the rest of our staff and I wanna thank you again for coming out and uh, please excuse me, I'll be on my way to the west side of the county to, talk, to meet with their parents. So thank you again for coming out. Good evening. 
<clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Cernsey. The very first thing we kind of want to cover is we've got a lot, and you will hear a lot of the terms that we use, and so we kind of just want to get some vocabulary out there so that everybody, we're talking about the same thing. And so some of the terms you're going to hear is advanced placement, which is basically um, AP, that's what you will hear people call it, um, and those are courses that are based on college level um, coursework. It's very rigorous, and they can, or students can earn college uh, credits by successfully passing the AP exams. We also have what we, you hear us say Cambridge, but it's really when you get down to the certification, it's actually ACE, um, and it stands for Advanced International Certificate of Education. The Cambridge uh, ACE degree, or those coursework, it's rigorous, it's an international program as well, and it can lead to an ACE diploma, which is recognized in universities worldwide. Students earn college credits by successfully passing ACE exams. It's a lot like the AP, it's just, it's similar, you have to take a test to earn the credit, the college credit. Dual enrollment are courses that are offered either on our campuses at schools, at our high schools, or at the college level, and you can take them while you're in high school, and it allows you to earn a high school credit as well as a college level credit at the same time. And the students earn the credit, obviously, by passing the class. And collegiate high school is actually one of the things that we are talking about and are going to complete this year at Interlochen High School and Palatka High School, and it is a collaboration between St. John's State College and our district um, for students who will create a path for um, in-school options and dual enrollment coursework that will lead to the possibility of earning an AA by the end of their 12th grade year, okay? So as we talk about AP, Cambridge or ACE, dual enrollment, those are the things that you are gonna kinda hear so that you know what the background is between all of those. You should have picked up a um, format in the back of the room. It's not pretty color, sorry. <laughs> but it looks like this, and it kind of does the pathway for you. What is, um, what is available for students, kindergarten through 12th grade, and in what area? So we've centraled it to what is available in South Putnam, what are the pathways in South Putnam, what are the pathways in um, Central Putnam, and what are the pathways in West Putnam? And since you're here, most likely you're here about what's happening in the Palatka area. But that way you can see what is available district-wide. So if you have questions about that in a little bit, but I'll give you some of an idea and a handout later to see what's available. One of the things we've worked really hard on is trying to make sure that you see that there is comparable coursework at every level. So you also received, a, um, in the back, a piece of paper that looked like this. And what you see on the um, screen is a portion of that. And if you look at your piece of paper, because you can probably see it a little bit better, in sixth grade, you have students that are attending at Price or Melrose's sixth grade group, and then the people who would be attending CeeLo or Miller. CeeLo and... Um, CL Overturf and Miller Middle School will be offering the Cambridge program. Price um, and Jenkins will be offering the, um, sorry, Jenkins was, no, it's not because it's CeeLo, sorry. CeeLo and Miller offer Cambridge. Price offers the advanced coursework. But what you can see is advanced math one. If you look on the opposite side, it's the same thing as Cambridge math one. And so you can see how that format happens all the way down, that the, although the courses may have a different name, they're the same entry point so that kids can have a comparable um, pathway to follow. And this is important because no matter whether you go to Jenkins Middle School or Price for seventh or eighth grade, if you would like to enroll in the Cambridge coursework at um, QI Roberts, it would be important for you to have the right pathway to have you that have that option. Does, does that make sense? That if you didn't have the right coursework, then that wouldn't give you the entry point. So in this, this is trying to show you that the coursework is comparable, and you can even see down to which electives would be offered, or not which electives, but that there would be an elective for each one. And in eighth grade, that Success 101 is a ninth grade 
a class that we've been doing at the high school, but these students would be getting it in eighth grade. Some of the electives that students might, some of the things that students might want to research before they choose which school they go to is what elective coursework is available at each site. And so you can get this information from the school as well, but at Jenkins Middle School, our electives for our career technical education is business, digital pho photography, agri-science, medical skills. And medical skills allow students to move into the health science pathway. Um, our other electives at Jenkins are band, chorus, PE, drama, and the theater design. At Price, you have business and agri-science as uh, career technical education uh, electives. And they also have art, drama, band, and PE at Price. QI Roberts has business and vet assisting for their CTE programs, as well as art, band, chorus, and drama. And so that's a piece that might interest a student to make a choice either way. Moving on to high school, the acceleration pathway is on the back side of the sheet that you had. And if you kind of take a look at that, it's set up again so that you can see what is the comparable coursework in each place. So if you look at Interlochen and PHS, the students will take geometry honors in ninth grade. If you go to QI Roberts, I'm going to skip all the way over to the orange section, students would be in Math 3, which is Algebra 2. If you are at Crescent City High School, it would be Math 2 Geometry. So you can see where they are comparable. There is a difference in the QI Roberts uh, beginning at point because they will start a little bit earlier in the math. But you will see that where they are, what courses would be offered. The um, end point for um, the acceleration, these are all the options in PHS and IHS. Those are not things that must be. You could take like AP Biology or a Science Dual Enrollment class. Remember that DE is what dual enrollment is if you look down to 12th grade. So these are the ninth grade classes. You can see that we um, will be having English as well as writing. That's important for any of those AP or ACE exams. The writing is very important for students to be able to pass that coursework or those exams. In 10th grade, you can see where you have dual enrollment coursework available or the ACE coursework or AP. 11th grade, and in 12th grade at IHS the, uh, uh, and PHS, the options will be that there is an honors diploma available for those students with the possibility of an AA degree, depending on if they chose the correct coursework. And at QI Roberts, as well as Crescent City High School, it's the ACE diploma um, or an honors diploma with earning some college credit, depending on which coursework you, um, which test, ACE test you take and pass. In our high schools, we have lots of electives at those schools as well, and that may drive which students choose for which high school. So at Palaka High School, you can see we have administrative office specialists, digital photography, uh, accounting um, applications, agri-science, animal science, horticulture, allied health, EKG, and home health aid, biomedical sciences, engineer technology, culinary arts, welding, automotive, and industrial manufacturing. That's a new one for this coming up year. Um, at Interlock and High, we have office, uh, administrative office specialist, animal science, horticulture, allied health, EKG, and home health aid computer systems, culinary arts, industrial manufacturing, and welding. Or that's a plan for next year for Interlock and High. And at QI Roberts, you have administrative office specialist, vet assisting, travel and tourism, and ACE. All of the high schools do have a variety of other electives, such as PE and band, art, foreign language, et cetera. 
to get into one of these programs, whether it's the dual enrollment, the AP coursework, the uh, collegiate high school, um, there is at least a minimum of a level three on your FSA math, reading, and science. A 3.0 GPA in all core academic classes, and that's based on your last available report card. Teacher or counselor recommendation if your FSA score or GPA does not meet the minimum requirement and positive discipline and attendance records. The acceleration um, opportunities at the schools for Palaka High School and Interlochen and um, Jenkins and CeeLo, those are actually all based, those decisions are based at the school. The district will convene a committee for the QI Roberts ACE um, Cambridge selection and the collegiate high school selection. So those are the minimum requirements to apply. Our Cambridge requirements are for admission requirements are a level four or five on the FSA math, reading, and science. A level three on the FSA math, reading, and science will be given a second level consideration. A's and B's in all core academic classes based on your last available report card. Positive discipline and attendance because that's important. The students who apply for Cambridge also must um, sit for a COGAT screener um, if they already have not, if they have not sat for one in the past. Um, and the, uh, these Cambridge uh, applications actually do go to a selection committee. And so I'm gonna turn this over at this point to Dr. Coleman who's gonna talk to you about more specifically the Cambridge application process and what's available there and the collegiate high school. Good evening. The University of Cambridge ACE program is sponsored by the University of Cambridge in England. And like advanced placement and international baccalaureate or IB programs, students can pursue a rigorous uh, coursework opportunity, kindergarten through 12th grade, and have the opportunity to earn college credit while they're in high school. The program itself is worldwide. It is offered in several different countries uh, worldwide. In terms of history of Cambridge in the United States, Cambridge was successfully piloted in Florida by the Florida legislature between 1997 and 2000 in three Florida public schools. The pilot study was intended to compare IB programs, international baccalaureate programs across the state with Cambridge programs and reports that showed the success then led to the program formally operating in Florida public schools uh, with the backing of legislative support. And I share this to um, say that, that the Cambridge program uh, is not new to our county. Um, it is uh, backed by legislative support. All of the counties around us have a variety of programs that they offer students. And typically, counties will offer students um, the opportunity to either go to the Cambridge ACE program or the IB program or participate in dual enrollment in AP classes. And so all counties around us will give students, uh, when they get to the high school level particularly, uh, the opportunity to choose what will work best for them and best for their future. And so like the counties around us, our goal with our county is that you will look at your students' talents um, and their needs, their personality, um, their future desires, and pick the program that will best meet the needs of your child. In terms of the Cambridge program in our county, uh, we began uh, the Cambridge application process in 2012 uh, with our county. And over the last five years, we've worked at expanding the program into more schools. Uh, and so in addition to James A. Long, CL Overturf, Interlochen Elementary School, and QI Roberts, uh, we will be um, putting forth an application to offer the program in Crescent City at Miller Middle School and Crescent City High School for next school year. Those programs will be uh, mirrored on, as you've seen um, presented, uh, mirrored on uh, the pathway that is currently present with the Cambridge program at other schools in our county. In terms of college credit, um, all Cambridge courses um, 
with legislative backing must be awarded college credit at all Florida colleges and universities. So if you happen to choose that particular path for your student, um, you, you can have the assurance to know that that credit will be um, and must be, according to law, recognized at all Florida colleges and universities. Um, all Ivy League universities also recognize um, Cambridge um, credit um, for their university. Um, and universities in between. In terms of data, um, right now, the students who are at QI Roberts, um, Dr. Cerency mentioned we have our first graduating class of seniors um, with the Cambridge program. Um, those students have already earned 1,488 college credits in their sophomore and junior year and will be sitting for additional um, college credits during their senior year. And so they have done very well. Um, pass rates have been um, uh, very impressive at this point in time um, for those students. And, um, and so our hope is that they will continue to be enormously successful. The program not only prepares students to get into university, but does provide them with a really solid foundation to be successful in college coursework once they're there. The other opportunity that we'd like to share with you today, um, if you feel that that would be um, the appropriate path for your student, knowing um, his or her personality and um, knowing their future goals, um, deals with uh, the Collegiate High School. And this is a program that um, will be offered at Palaka High School and, Interna and Interlochen High School uh, next school year. Um, the students will start um, taking classes with a ninth grade cohort at that particular, those particular locations. In the ninth through 11th grade, they'll take a prescribed uh, college credits on the campus at Palaka High School or Interlochen High School. And so those will be courses that they'll take in addition to their other high school courses that they would take. And when they get to the 12th grade, they'll be enrolled full time at St. John's River State College. In terms of eligibility, um, eligibility is up here on this slide. Um, dual enrollment requires a minimum of a 3.0 unweighted GPA. And in order to apply for the collegiate high school, students must have a minimum eighth grade GPA of 3.0 in all core academic coursework, have a minimum high school GPA of 3.0 for at least one high school course taken in eighth grade, such as Algebra One, English One, Biology, or Spanish and need to attend uh, one of two information sessions. In order to apply for the collegiate high school opportunity, um, students would complete an acceleration application through Putnam County School District, and we'll talk about that in a second. And then they would also complete an application through St. John's River State College. Once St. John's River State College receives those applications, the students who will um, be chosen to attend the collegiate high school opportunity will be chosen based upon a lottery system. The sessions for uh, St. John's River uh, State College uh, will be held Monday, March 6 at 6 p.m. Uh, at the college or March 7th at 6 p.m. at Price Middle School. And if there are any questions that deal specifically with um, the collegiate high school option for students, um, we encourage uh, parents to contact the St. John's River State College Office of Dual Enrollment um, at the college. Um, and again, students would complete the application through our school district as well as complete the application um, with the college. So regardless of the opportunity that you, you are exploring with your student, um, the process that we would need for you to do is complete an online application. When you came in today, there was a single piece of paper with an application, application directions on it. Um, yours is hopefully a little bit easier to read um, at your table. Um, what you would do is if you have a student currently in our school system, and that student could be at one of our charter schools or in any school in our school system, you would log on to your parent Skyward uh, parent portal account, which is the same uh, system that you use to check your students' grades. 
So it's the same system where you go on, you check their grades, you check their attendance, that sort of thing. When you go on to that system, there you will see a link for an acceleration application box that will come up kind of towards the bottom of that screen, uh, two thirds down that screen. And it will walk you through the prompts of completing that application. This is necessary to apply for any of our acceleration programs. And so you, we had looked at um, earlier uh, today, tonight, we had looked at that piece of paper that talks about the acceleration programs at each part of the county. So regardless of which program you would like your student to attend, you need to do the online application. If for some reason you do not have a Skyward Parent Portal account already, you can contact your student school, whatever school they're at in the county. They can get you that password. Um, and um, and that's, that's a fairly quick process. That's just a phone call. They can set it up for you, and then you'll have the password, and you'll be able to check their grades, too. <laughs> or at least, right, right uh, moms and dads, at least let them, let them know that you can <laughs> check their grades anytime you want to. Um, and then you'd walk through that process. There's two parts to um, the acceleration application to complete. The first part is just an online form with your demographics and, and information, that sort of thing. And then it will take you to a link at the bottom of that form where it will link you to a spot where your student can write an essay. And so that's part two. Part one is the actual form and part two is the essay. And we need uh, both parts to be completed. And then you hit submit. If you run into any snags, we have a wonderfully helpful uh, IT department uh, with the school district um, that is um, very quick about running parents kind of through that if you need help um, doing that. Our first round applications are due March 10th. Um, and so what that means is that in order to be most competitive for the program, we're asking that um, all students um, complete that application regardless of what program you want to do um, by March 10th. At this time, uh, what we would like to do is show you a quick video um, that highlights our various opportunities. Um, while you are watching the video, this is a really good opportunity for you to write down any questions you have on the note card that you picked up uh, at the beginning of uh, the information session. And what we'll do is, while the video is playing, we'll come around and pick up those note cards and hopefully answer any of your questions. The Putnam County School District provides opportunities for students to engage in challenging coursework through acceleration programs, including advanced placement, dual enrollment, Cambridge, and honors coursework. Hello, I'm Superintendent Rick Cernsey. One of my goals as superintendent is to increase the educational opportunities for our students in Putnam County. To accomplish this goal, our district is creating additional acceleration pathways that will challenge every student to their educational potential. In addition to the district's established K-12 Cambridge programs, advanced placement, and dual enrollment programs, we are currently in the process of applying for Miller Middle School and Crescent City High School to become official Cambridge sites for the 2017-18 school year. Our district is also working on making advanced programs available at each of our middle schools so that students are prepared for rigorous pathways in high school. We want to ensure our students are being academically challenged so they can have the brightest of futures. In Putnam County, we stand for excellence. We are allowed to be creative in our thinking. We can collaborate in our cooperative learning groups, which allows us to be able to extend our learning deeper. We get hands-on learning like we don't use worksheets, we get more human body, and we draw more organs ourselves, and we learn things more in depth than other classes. The goals of our acceleration programs are to both inspire students and challenge students to think deeply. I think the Cambridge program has helped prepare me to teach my students to think deeper by, um, first off, just developing a love of learning. My name is Damarian Drake, and I have two advanced classes at Sears Christ Middle School. I like advanced classes because it pushes you to your limits and challenges you a lot. My name is Adiana Rivera and I go to advanced reading and math at Sage Price Middle School. 
What I like about advanced classes is that the teachers help you, but they also let your mind explore in what you're reading, and you're very challenged. Hi, my name is Laura Godwin. I've been teaching first grade for 20 years. I've started teaching the Cambridge program four years ago. I would just like to say how the Cambridge program has helped my students to become more in-depth thinkers, how my students have become challenged in many ways through their higher order thinking, through their evidence in their work. Instead of using one tool like you would in a normal classroom in Cambridge, we learn how to use multiple different tools. It's more challenging work and it helps me think more in depth. They expect more of me and it makes me work harder at school. I'm Melanie Club, and this is the sixth grade Cambridge class at Interlochen Elementary School. Uh, we're having a great time in Cambridge. Uh, I think the students enjoy the fact that we do a lot of hands-on activities. We do a lot of in-class projects as well as out-of-school out projects, a lot of project-based learning. Uh, we do a lot of collaboration. Uh, it seems like every day we're working with a partner or with a team. Hi, my name is Taya Starts, and I'm in the Honors Program at Jenkins Middle School. And what I like about the Honors Program is that it challenges you more and you have more people that are in the class that are interested about the subject. The Cambridge Program is a great program because they push us to learn even more. Hi, I'm Brennan Kearse. I am in the Honors Program at Jenkins Middle School. What I like about the Honors Program is that it challenges your mind into doing better and you get your credits to go to high school faster. Well, Cambridge has given me the opportunity to do some things with students that I probably couldn't do in the regular curriculum. Um, for example, flexibility. The curriculum is uh, it's stated and it's flexible enough that I can do things like these aquariums, for example, which tie into several aspects of the marine science curriculum, but I can let it be a lot more hands-on. Um, uh, for example, the students have, have researched and developed these biotopes, these individual ecosystems, um, and they have to maintain it through the entire year. Cambridge qualifications give students admission to the world's best universities because college credit is recognized around the world, including at MIT, Harvard, and Cambridge University. Universities value the independent research and critical thinking skills that these programs provide, along with the deep subject knowledge acquired by students in the program. It makes me a competitive student because it's rigorous coursework. Also in that rigorous coursework, it teaches me a lot of skills that are applicable to just average uh, college assignments, such as analytic or writing skills. So therefore, Cambridge has really helped me and has taught me the skills that I need to first get into college and then excel. Cambridge prepares you for college by giving you harder level classes and preparing you for big tests just like college will. Um, it is a smaller setting here at our school, but at other schools it's a bigger setting so it teaches you how to like go from class to class and things like that. Hello, my name is Cheryl Munoz-White and I am a dual enrollment teacher here at Palaka High School with St. John's River State College. I teach general biology, principles of biology, as well as marine biology. Um, as dual enrollment courses for students to gain high school as well as college credit. Um, these courses allow them to be immersed in college level work. Um, definitely gives them some experience uh, for the future, um, whether they're going to a tech school, big university, uh, two year, four year college, um, as well as for the workforce. QI definitely challenges me more than any previous school that I've been to, school usually has been a breeze and QI actually makes me work harder for what I want in my life and I feel like I'm actually fulfilling my goals and preparing myself more for the future. Hi, my name is Ashley Edison. I attend the dual enrollment program at IHS. Um, I love this program because it shows me what I can accomplish and how far I've come thus far. The benefits of the Cambridge program here at Alta QI abound. Um, our students are challenged with new rigorous academic material and more than just struggling through work on a daily basis, our students are exposed to the kinds of projects and we'll say real life circumstances um, that really help them out in the world. Uh, Cambridge has helped me think deeper about school and differently. Our classes are college level classes. We get three credits if we pass the Cambridge exam. They're very rigorous. They're not typical classes. Um, the coursework for each class is quite intense and difficult and it's quite challenging. Hi, my name's Liz Middleton. I teach Advanced Placement United States History at Interlochen High School and I can tell you that it is at a level 
incredibly more difficult than anything I've ever taught before. I'm convinced that anyone who completes this class will not only know much more about American history than almost anyone they will pass on the street, but they will also be much better prepared when they go into a college setting. Cambridge helps us not only to deeper our thinking, but it also helps us to develop our team working skills and how we perceive the world. The Cambridge program helps me with the college for later in life through the competitiveness of other applications of other students. Hi, I'm Chris Wyckoff. I teach AP English Language and Composition here at Interlochen High School. The AP program is a nationally and internationally accredited program that allows high school students to earn college credits. If your student or you as a student want a great challenge, come see us here. My name is Josh Reynolds and I take advanced placement courses at Placa High School. I like them because they give me the challenge of a college class and the comfort of the high school environment. I'm Tessa Garrett from the Interlochen High School Dual Enrollment Program and the reason I'm part of the Dual Enrollment Program is because it saves me money of what would otherwise be a very costly ordeal. I'm Elizabeth Pignato and I'm in Dual Enrollment at Placa High School because I can get a full college credit in just one semester. Acceleration inspiring students to go above and beyond. It's becoming a pathway of success for all of our secondary schools. Join us in celebrating our continued success. We have a lot of questions. And we're not gonna answer every single one of them. So if we did not answer your specific question and you still want an answer, if you'll see Dr. Coleman or I at the very end, um, we will. it's a little bit more in depth than we need to go into for the entire group. So, you ready? Okay, we're gonna tag out and in. Um, one of the questions was, is if you go into seventh grade, do you still need to go, if you're going into seventh grade, do you need to go to St. John's River State College for the info se session? No, if you are in seventh grade, you do not need to go to the info session at the college. You, if you are in eighth grade, and you're considering the collegiate option, it is a requirement for you to go to the information session, okay? Another question was, um, for the acceleration application, do you still have to do it if you want to get into Cambridge? Yes, that application is the same for any of the advancement or acceleration options. Okay, this question is graduating from Cambridge had the benefit, had Bright Futures scholarship benefits. Is that going to be the same if the kids go to Palaka High School? If students earn a Cambridge ACE diploma at QI Roberts, they have less requirements to earn a Bright Futures scholarship than if they go to Palaka High School or Interlochen High School and participate in their acceleration programs. So what I'm saying by that is that there are added benefits through the ACE program uh, the ACE diploma, where students have less requirements to meet for Bright Futures if they get an ACE diploma. The next question is, what about CELO to Jenkins to QI? Uh, and so I'm interpreting that you're looking at your student possibly go attending CELO for sixth grade, then attending Jenkins for seventh and eighth grade, and then applying to QI for ninth through 12th grade, is how I'm interpreting this question. So and the question is, would she be behind when she got to QI? One of the important things that we've been working on for next school year is aligning the coursework at Jenkins Middle School and at Price Middle School with the coursework that's currently in place at QI Roberts. And so what that, um, and that's the one, um, I believe it's color, colorful piece of paper in front of you. And so we've been working uh, for next school year on aligning those courses so that no matter where your student attended, whether it be Jenkins, Price, or QI, they would have the academic coursework preparation to then apply to the ninth grade program at QI Roberts. And that is one of Dr. Surrency's biggest goals is to make sure that there is equal access for all students. Okay. Are current ninth graders at Palaka High School eligible to apply for the collegiate high school? The answer is no. You, it's an eighth grade application to going to ninth grade. However, you can speak to Mrs. B 
Bernie or Marlene Drew tonight, I'm sorry, Ogle, um, and Mr. Chairs, they can talk to you about the pathway that you can take. We do have early admissions students at Palaka High School that spend their 12th grade year and get their AA, their 12th grade year. It's just not a cohorted group. So that, uh, that we don't have the collegiate high school op um, opportunity, but that end result of the AA is available at Palaka High School and Interlochen High School. Can CELO students go to Price and get transportation? The answer is if you belong to the enrollment zone that is Price Middle School, then yes, you can go from one to the other, but you, we do not provide transportation back and forth from town to Price Middle School, unless it's already on the bus route. Okay, this question is, my son is currently enrolled in Cambridge at QI Roberts. Will his seat be in jeopardy if he enters the lottery for the collegiate high school? And the answer is yes. If you put in an application for another program and um, decide to go to another program, your seat is then open for another student to apply to the program you're currently in if you're sitting in an acceleration school. Um, so what that means is that um, students who currently attend QI Roberts and are, have maintained their academic standing at that school are guaranteed to be at that school as long as they ha maintain that, those academic standards. Once students leave QI Roberts, that seat becomes open for somebody else. Um, and um, they're not guaranteed they would go back in the pool to apply with everybody else um, for that school. Um, if they wanted to um, apply to re-enter, they would go back in the pool with everyone else. Um, this question is, will these classes be available at Putnam Arts and Sciences Center? Um, Putnam Academy of Arts and Sciences is a charter school. Um, and so all of their curriculum and their um, academic choices are based upon that school. So what I would encourage you to do is contact that school. Um, since they are a charter entity, they make those decisions uh, for their own school. All right. Does collegiate high school require no college placement test scores like dual enrollment? Yes, collegiate high school will require college placement scores. But the students will be taking them two years at it, like every year. So at this point, you will not take the college interest exam at that, you know, the, they'll be admitted prior to that, okay? Um, another question was students in 10th and 11th grade that drive will not take classes at St. John's River State College. Um, all cl classes will be on site at PHS. In the collegiate high school, yes, until their 12th grade year, all classes are at the PHS site. Students that are currently in ninth grade or 10th grade at PHS, then they would continue to follow the dual enrollment pathway that we've had before. Will completion of high school with the AA um, degree from St. John's River State College affect the ability to receive the Bright Future Scholarship? The answer is no. If you um, get those uh, criteria, that does not affect that scholarship. When, if you are a member of the collegiate high school, and I remember that starts with ninth grade this year, then when you graduate, you actually get your Palaka High School Diploma or Interlochen High School, whichever one you're at, as well as the AA degree from um, St. John's River State College if you've passed all your coursework. Okay, this question is, the kids currently enrolled in advanced classes at Jenkins that are eighth graders, has the schedule they followed this year allowed for early transition, allowed for easy transition to Palaka High School's dual enrollment collegiate path? Um, right now, the students that are at Jenkins Middle School have been taking some honors classes. And so all of the students at Jenkins who are in those honors classes have the same similar academic background. And so they are eligible to complete the acceleration application for um, the collegiate high school, um, but then would also need to complete that application with St. John's River State College. Um, so they are um, certainly eligible to go through that process as well. 
One of the questions that have not come up that I'm kind of interested to answer, even though it's not a question, um, the students that are currently at QI Roberts in seventh or eighth grade do not need to reapply for ninth, 10th, 11th grade. You do not need to reapply at this time. If you're at that site, you're at that site. In the future, the incoming seventh graders in the future will then have to reapply in the ninth grade year. And the reason that would be is we're trying to make it equal access for all. So we need to make sure that we have an equity point that in ninth grade, that the students that are dismissing Price and Jenkins have an equitable piece to be able to apply. And since we're trying to set that up so that everybody has options, we need to have an equal entrance option again in ninth grade. But if they are currently at QI Roberts, they do not have to reapply. But in the future, if they are the incoming seventh grade group, correct? Mm -hmm. The incoming seventh grade group this year will have to reapply in the ninth grade. Transportation to QI Roberts will still be available. Okay. All right. So at this time, we thank you for coming. If we did not.